Hey guys, welcome to Operation Bigger Boobs, Smaller Waist, Full Workout coming at ya. Good morning, good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Hey. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Yeah. Now the milkman's on his way, and it's too late to say good night. So good morning, good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Just had breakfast, breakfast tacos. The first time that I made breakfast tacos for my family, they were just like super thrown off by them. They were like, tacos are for dinner. Like I. We do not put eggs in our tacos, basically. So I wanna share with you guys on YouTube because maybe in different areas, like you guys have never heard of breakfast tacos or maybe that's just Alaska, I don't know, comment below. They're so good and you can make them super healthy. These tortillas are actually really good. You guys are looking for like a lighter snack, something a little, you know, less calories. These are perfect size, portion control size. Each one is 80 calories and only 13 grams of carbs. However, uh, the fiber, there's 10 grams of fiber in each one, so technically it's what, three three net carbs. I had two of those, I had the fillings. Now I wanna make some lemonade. So I've been on this lemonade kick, right? And I, I got this one from The Good Kind. It's a local place here, and it's so good, but it's so expensive, and it's very sugary. Lemon, water, and sugar. Very easy to make. There's not that much sugar in it. Anyway, let's make some lemonade. Blend it in there, it's gonna be real good. I have for you. <laughs> I'm gonna go get splendid downstairs. BRB. Just had to plug up in there. Had to plug up in my I channel. I want you so bad. Babe, you're getting distracted. You're supposed to be helping me make lemonade, and all you're doing is playing with fake tea. It's fine. They're yeah, real. I need your help. It's fine. I can do this all by myself. All you do is cut, cut the lemonade. I'm not upset. Lemonade. Sugar. And fine. All right guys, we're about to make some lemonade. I'm gonna show you what all I got. I got this cutting board. My friend actually made this. Now all he wanna drink is lemonade. Good thing it don't take much to make that. Mm -hmm. So I was hand picking the seeds out and Christian was like, why don't you use a strainer? Good thinking, babe. So how are you gonna tell them to make the lemonade? Hand pick. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy the $4 lemonade. Can, can, can I help? Oh, wow. It's okay, it's only pulp anyway. I love pulp. I just like the word pulp. Pulp is cool. Gross. Can I see your pulp? Ew! 10 ounces of pure lemon juice. We're gonna put 30 ounces of water. And 24 packets of Splenda. Okay, so whenever I'm dieting or whenever I and trying to lean out. You know, you want to think of ways to still have like your favorite foods like donuts and lemonade and like, you know, your favorite things but make it in a healthier way. One of my guilty pleasures is lemonade, but I like the ones with real sugar. Making ones with Splenda, like fresh, lemonade is the way to go for me, all right? It's something to sip on, something really refreshing, something fruity without the crazy amount of calories, you know? Now also if like you have a sweet tooth and you're craving something, some people have like a salty tooth, like they'll just like crave like salty foods. Me, I crave sugar, like I'm like, I need sugar right now. One of my favorite ways to like curb a craving, satisfy like an appetite, if I am like craving sugar, so. Try it at home, guys. If you don't like lemonade, then we can't be friends. Oh wow, oh wow. Wow, wow. I'm gonna drink it all before he gets here. Dude, it's so good. Is it really good? Yeah. Let me see the Wow, we barely made any. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I need more. No, it's my lemonade. You don't even like lemonade. Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I appreciate every single sip. You not like it. I feel like you're not appreciating don't it. I'll try it. I got it. You know when you're trying to taste something and people are like, being done? I don't even know. <laughs> That's really good. Like how good? Is it better than the good kind? I like that. That would last you a while. That's a lot. I love it. 
It's not. So you're hugging in lemonade because you can't see what you're doing. I freaking love lemonade. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these all in like the little good kind containers whenever someone comes over and be like, ah. here, you can have a quarter dollar lemonade. Oh, nice. We're about to go to the gym, guys. I'm gonna take you guys through a boob workout, it's a chest workout. But first, I need one up. I'm not obsessed with one up or anything. <laughs> I don't take my supplements like every single day. Do you take your supplements every day, babe? Do you really? No. I don't take pre-workout every single time I work out. Just most times lately because I need it. Wow, that was sick. Did you see that? So Christian and I did this like creepy wax hand thing the other day, so this is the only decor that I kind of have right now. <laughs> but it's cute, right? Have y'all ever done this? It's really corny. Also, update, I got my living room put together. Hold on, let me put it together. Okay, got my living room put together. This is like the only thing that I have decorated so far in the apartment, it, but it's like room by room. Um, most stuff is coming in soon. And then once everything's in, I'm gonna give you guys like a full cute like house tour, which I'm like so excited about. So I'm like, oh, come on, hurry up. I hope all the stuff comes in. So this is the living room so far. It's so pretty. Those have not gone on the wall yet, but they will soon. Hey guys, welcome to my bigger boob, smaller waist workout. Now, I use this title because these are two things that women ask me about quite often. So first, let's go over training your chest. Will it make your boobs bigger? Yes and no. Your breasts are actually composed of fat tissue. So you can't make yourself gain fat in one area of your body. You just can't do it, guys, and I've told you that in other videos. If you could, I'm sure most females would be eating their food and telling the food to go straight to their boobs and butt, am I right? You can train your chest and make your pectoralis muscles, also known as your pecs, bigger to make your boobs appear larger. They can make them perkier, and they can become a little more firm. I think a lot of females really just get confused by this because they see females, you know, losing weight and they're like, wow, you look amazing, but your boobs are gone. And that's because you're going to lose your boobs, guys, because they're made of fat tissue when you're doing, you know, cardio and when you're um, in a caloric deficit, when you're trying to lose weight, lose fat, that is what's going to happen. You're going to lose your boobs and you're usually the first to go. It sucks. I know. It's heartbreaking but not doing chest exercises, it's not gonna cause you to lose your boobs. Now, I do wanna mention that I did have implants put in years ago, so I don't train my chest all too often, but I don't completely neglect my chest either. And really, it's for the same reasons that I'm telling you guys that um, a lot of females will still work their chest, and it's because whether you have implants or not, I mean, I still want my boobs to appear larger, be a little bit more firm, a little bit more perky. Why not? Whether you have implants or not, you know? Also, whenever you train at chest, you can totally throw in some tricep exercises in that workout because whenever you are training your chest, your triceps are going to be involved in most chest exercises. So whenever you're doing a chest movement, a lot of times your triceps are engaged so why not throw in a few chest exercises? Now that we've gone over the chest area, let's talk about achieving a smaller waist. Some girls naturally have a smaller waist and some don't. You know, some women carry their fat in their stomach and that's okay. It, it just might take a little bit more work for them to get it off. You know, a lot of us have different genetics. We have different bone structure. Basically, we're all different. And how I achieve a small waist is a few tips I wanna share with you guys. First of all, Cleaning up my diet um, is gonna be number one. The second thing is gonna be training my abs, obliques, and lower back to keep everything nice and tight, which I did in this actual ab workout. Also making sure that I build up my lats and glutes. Doing this will make your waist appear smaller than it actually is. And the final tip I wanna share with you guys is Whenever you're trying to achieve a smaller, leaner looking waist, um, I would suggest to limit your consumption of processed packaged foods. And this isn't for everyone. You know, some people can just eat whatever processed packaged foods they want and they will still have like a six pack. I'm like, that's awesome. But that just doesn't happen with me. I have to um, limit myself because if I do consume a lot of it, 
then I will see it in my waist area. So I have to kind of kind of juggle a little bit and make sure I'm not going too crazy. So yeah, that is my tips, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the tips, enjoy the workout, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, enjoy the rest of the vlog. My abs. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, wow, guys. So we just got back to the house. Actually, we've been back for a little while. But uh, I had to catch up on some text messages, emails, business stuff, you know. And uh, Christian's so sweet. He cooked dinner and it's so good. Look, it's chicken, pasta. And it smells and looks so delicious. Look at this. Wow. <gasps> so good. And pasta, light sauce, light Alfredo sauce, and chicken. Who said we can't cook? We're so good at cooking. I made breakfast tacos today, homemade lemonade, and you made pasta. Really sick hair. What? Alright, guys, quick update. We are heading back to Houston right now. The original plan, if you guys watched my previous video, we had a lot of people bring items to the warehouse, to the Bunny Collection warehouse, and we were gonna load it up into a U-Haul and bring it to Corpus in Rockport today. And we we're gonna do that. So everyone around San Antonio brought items to the warehouse. Thank you guys so much. Let me insert a clip actually. Check this out. She was like, oh my gosh, they're taking that trash. Oh my god, yeah, no, we, we so that was that was great. Oh, no, we appreciate you uh what we own college. Oh, yeah, I used to get it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so thank you guys so much for donating everything. Um, we are gonna wait a few more days to bring it to Rockport, Corpus, or Houston. Um, because right now there was a gas shortage. So Actually, a lot of places in Texas are running out of gas and we didn't want to bring a U-Haul all the way there and then have the U-Haul get stuck there and then us get stuck there. And a lot of the shelters were like, hey, we're good, we're full, like please stop donating things as of right now. But right now, so many people are donating that they're having to organize everything. They're like, there's a lot of things that they have a surplus of and then stuff that they have shortage of. So they're trying to organize it all right now and then let us know what they need. So we're gonna wait a few days. Yes. Right now we're headed to Houston with Christian. So tomorrow we're actually gonna be going to help um, Habitat for Humanity. We're gonna be helping gut houses and like doing whatever we can to help. Yeah, that is the update for now. So we are going to hit the road and I'll check in with you guys when we get there. Bye. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And also be on the lookout for the next video because it's a Q&A with me and Christian. That I'll be uploading on my YouTube channel. It's our first Q&A. We answer tons of questions. So that will be up very soon. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.